Hi guys, Henning and Morten from Flip Normals here. And this is just gonna be a quick little tip in ZBrush how to enhance parts of your model, or the entire model, if you want to. This is uh, actually shout outs to one of our supervisors, Patrick Harburn, who showed this to us. It's a really quick, simple little ZBrush tip. So all you have to do is, let's say you were sculpting and you were doing a lot of wrinkles. Maybe you have like this big snake and there's lots of wrinkles on the belly or something. Your supervisor comes over to you and says, I'd really love some more detail everywhere, but it took you 10 days to sculpt all the wrinkles. You don't want to have to go in and sculpt the wrinkles again. We have one little trick for you. <laughs> one yeah. quick little trick. <laughs> it's, like, it's like, doctors will hate you for uh, whatever. Um, so all you have to do is create a new layer. So you just create a layer on you know our, our object here, and then you just start smoothing. So you can do this in a couple different ways. You can go on deformation, and this just go down to smooth. This is gonna smooth your entire model. Uh, this model is a little heavy right now, so I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna do it locally with one eye so you can see what it looks like. So just smooth this. So this is super cool because you, you don't have to enhance everything and you can choose to what degree stuff would be enhanced by. So essentially, the amount is gonna be enhanced by is the amount is gonna be smooth by right now, if that makes sense to you guys. Now it will. So we have our layer here. Just turn off recording. Well, I guess I'll do that automatically. Set it to negative one. There we go. And there you go. You can see, let's toggle it on and off just so you can see the difference here. So regular eye and then with the Enhancify pass on top. It's, I feel this comes in really handy when you have a lot of manual work, like like specifically wrinkles or yeah. tiny small details where you just, it's just a lot of labor to go in past sculpt to yeah. like enhance it again. The nice thing about this, because it's on a layer, you don't have to, you can set it to a crazy amount, like minus one to start with, and then you can always like go in and tweak it. Yeah. So I, like it's just, it's super quick, uh, really handy, Really handy little feature, I think. Yeah, so, so this is something we use a lot when it comes to production, because displacement maps, which is what we use to just mm. bring our data from something like um, ZBrush into, into the render engine, they they always smooth out our stuff. Like that's often because like soft lighting or like it might be subsurface scattering or whatever it is. All our beautiful little ZBrush sculpts, which is, we spend months on, so it's kind of killed off. So what we'll often do is we'll just go through this and enhance whatever it is and um, you're just gonna see this a lot better in the render. The so, nice thing is, like Henning mentioned before, you can have select areas. You know, maybe some parts are great. Yeah. But then you'd have oh the mouth here. You know, I want some more detail on that one. Yeah. And now you have a crispy mouth. So yeah. it's it's pretty good. So this is not a replacement for good sculpture. No, no, by no means. <laughs> this is more like like we we would have to go in and balance this some of this little stuff afterwards as well, but actually sculpting over it. Mm. But it's it's just a really useful feature just to just to make sure your work is just standing out a bit more. So if you want to see more things like this in the future, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. And thank you so much for watching.